Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we have an unboxing. Now, normally, I order a pair of shoes, I do an MTO, I wait, I wait, and I wait, you know, five weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, 26 weeks, sometimes 52 weeks. But this was a really interesting pair because I have tried to order this online many, many times. And every time I've tried to order it, I got frustrated and I quit. And I got, I quit because when I went to put in my address in the shopping cart, it said, <laughs> well, what country in Europe do you live in? <laughs> and it had no options for anything else. So this time, and I think it was actually uh, Friday of last week or Saturday on the weekend, I decided I was gonna fill out a comment card and I reached out for a uh, contact me kind of thing on their website. And they responded with an email and I got to chatting with them and um, they were very accommodating. And uh, they sent me a PayPal invoice and um, we are off to the races. So actually I take the bag, it was not a PayPal invoice. I wired them the money through PayPal uh, Zoom, X-O-O-M, uh, but it worked, it's all good. And uh, here we are. So. This is J.M. Weston. J.M. Weston is a powerhouse brand in France. Uh, they've been around forever. Um, take a look at their website, take a look at the, the you know, about. Uh, I'm not doing um, all of my integrated like websites and, and pages and all that stuff anymore. I'm kind of doing this as a one take wonder. So, um, you know, my unboxings are really just that. I'm unboxing the shoe. But I, I did want to share that with you because you know, I've really been upping my collection game for three and a half years now, and I've been trying to order these shoes for a long time, and now I can. So I'm very happy about that. Now, J.M. Weston, um, I first heard about them on Sartorial Talks. Um, Hugo Jacome uh, speaks very highly of them, and um, it's a French brand made with French materials, and um, they are not inexpensive. I think they were 810 euros and um, another 95 euros for the trees. Uh, now, on the downside is I did have to pay that and I had to pay import taxes, which is unfortunate. Part of the issue is that they're not set up for export like most stores are. Uh, so if you can find them at a store, that's great. Uh, Nordstrom uh, has three stores in the United States that carry J.M. Weston. Unfortunately, they only had this model in black and in shoes that were way too small. So I, uh, I, I decided to eat the cost of the taxes and uh, just try this out. Now, um, they are Goodyear welted. They do a hand welted version of this shoe, uh, but it is 2,200 euros. It's quite a bit more expensive. Uh, it is a, um, a Norwegian welt, um, very, very different. But let's take a look at this shoe by itself. Um, again, this is my first time even fighting with the shoe bag. This is live. And here we are. So this is a half hunt. Now a half hunt means that it's a traditional derby. Okay? A whole hunt is like a blucher where it's a split toe, but instead of having the derby piece here, it is a blucher. Okay? And this is all one piece. So this is where it is. It is closed channel. You can see the line where they hammered it shut. They put the toe plate on in the factory. Um, and it is very well done. This is a double sole, the midsole and the, the outer sole are about the same width. And actually they're um, a little bit thicker on the outer sole, right? Uh, the midsole is about the same width as the welt. You can see the welt line right here is aligned with um, the derby piece where it goes up. You can see that the welt is there, um, which I'm going to, I um, have to put the light down here, but it's right here. You can't really see it. It's, uh, it's incredibly done. The uh, stitch density is good. It's not great. Um, you know, they've got fudging. They have a storm welt or split reverse welt on it. It's not pre-stitched. And it is just classically done. Now, um, I was reading about J.M. Weston and... Um, they seem to have a preferential treatment uh, with some of the tanneries, which is very interesting. Um, 
they were bought by a family private equity kind of firm uh, in the 70s um, and have been seemingly running independent since then. If there's other information that I'm not seeing, uh, you know, feel free to, to educate me in the comments. I'm imperfect. I just, uh, you know, I do some quick research and, and I share. So there's a little bit of an ink spot here, nothing uh, terrible. Uh, and this is Parisian brown is the, the color I would, I would call this. Um, there's a little spot there as well. Nothing, uh, nothing bad. Um, all very good. And so here's the uh, other shoe. Um, bag opened a little bit better. So we're just gonna pull it off. Um, as I said before, I, I paid extra for the trees and, uh, you know, they shipped them in the trees, which I really, really appreciate instead of shipping them empty and then with a tree box. And then I have more boxes, which, um, you know, you don't think about this, but when you have, you know, 130 pairs of shoes, um, you really don't want 130 shoe boxes. Um, so, um, I obviously have some really nice wood ones. Um, and I keep those, um, my original pairs, um, you know, that I got from Allen Edmonds, I, I just never took a box, but, uh, a lot of these new ones, especially with all the mail order, I have boxes and, uh, you know, these are damn it. This box is damaged a little bit, not bad, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not something I would resell like that. Um, so I'm probably going to, uh, you know, donate this, uh, to my local elementary school for use in panoramas. So... That is my J.M. Weston Half Hunt. Uh, they are a classic derby. Um, I spent a lot of time talking to them about sizing, so hopefully this works out. And I will follow up after uh, I wear them. So thank you very much for watching. I'm super excited about the shoes and uh, look forward to hearing your stories about J.M. Weston in the comments. Thanks.